My name is Mike Salamana, chef and co-owner of Zahav Restaurant here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The inspiration for this restaurant is all the things that make up sort of Israeli culture and society. It's all the different, you know, microcultures and all the different, you know, the, the whole sort of history of people moving back there and bringing with them cuisine from sort of all over the world. Israeli cuisine, it's always changing. Most people think it's like falafel or shawarma or whatever, which is definitely awesome, but it's a very small part. There's just such a, a varied group of gastronomies in one place, which was what makes it so exciting. I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so there wasn't tons of Israeli cuisine there. And we would always have like, you know, my dad would make like, you know, schnitzel sandwiches, or my mom would make borekas, or we would have like tahina at the table instead of like butter or bread. My dad and his family's cuisine was the first that I got really excited about. I think it was the first um, exposure I had to sort of the diversity of the uh, many different cultures that I'm interested in, and I was very intrigued and very interested in eating all of his, his mother and my grandmother's cuisine. Today we're gonna, we're gonna do a riff on a schnitzel sandwich. Schnitzel is like a milanese or it's like anything sort of uh, breaded. In Israel you take like a day trip and you have like schnitzel on rice you know, in gas stations on the road, or if you're like partying at night in like the discotheque, you eat schnitzel at four o'clock in the morning. It was a very inexpensive thing to make, you know, and it was one of those things that sort of Israel adopted, you know, as their own. So cooking schnitzel now is awesome, and it reminds me clearly of growing up, but it's also pretty delicious. So to make the perfect schnitzel, you take chicken breast off of the carcass, you whack the hell out of it to tenderize it and to sort of flatten it, we season it, and then we bread it. What I like to do is put a lot of sesame seeds in my breadcrumbs, big fan. And then we'll sear it in a pan. Typically you would use like vegetable oil because olive oil will burn if you cook it too hot. But what we're gonna use is probably clarified butter, which is absolutely not Israeli, but you know, we're in Philly. We're gonna take some liberties. And this is kind of a shout out you know, to my dad who would put cold butter on white bread. What we do next is actually cook a lafa, which is a large sort of pita, it's an Iraqi style pita in our wood burning oven, which will act sort of as a bread, but also a wrap. We will garnish it with tahina sauce, which is like a sesame paste. Then we'll add chopped cucumber and tomato and pickles. We'll slice the schnitzel into a couple sort of bite-sized pizzas and add a couple different spice blends to jazz it up. So you still get the traditional breaded chicken, which is like the comfort food of so many different cultures. And then you also get, you know, with the most simple ingredients, you can turn something into something really special. When people eat food here that have been to Israel, they're like, I've tasted all these things, but like never sort of in this way. The great thing about what I do and why I absolutely love what I do is because I get to, to make things that I love. Like I get to make great food and I get to represent all these different things that mean so much to me personally and then sort of transmit them to people that have never been exposed to it. 